In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to find the length of a diagonal line of a square using some trigonometry. I'm going to walk you through this step by step, and I'll show you how the length of a diagonal line of a square is a hypotenuse of a 45 degree triangle. I'm going to draw in a square of four equal sides. Again, each side of a square has the same length. Every angle of a square is equal to 90 degrees, so all four corners, each corner equals 90 degrees. The angle of it is 90 degrees. When I draw in a diagonal, the blue diagonal, I'm actually taking this corner here and I'm cutting it in half. So I take that 90 degrees and I cut it in half, and each of these angles equals 45 degrees. So 45 plus 45 is 90, of course. So these two angles here are 45 degrees and 45 degrees. Since this corner and that corner are the same, these two angles are 45 degrees also. Now imagine I just let each side of the, the square be 9, the length of 9. And so I'll put some numbers to this. And I'll draw a diagonal in. And the question then becomes, what is the length of that blue diagonal? I can treat this as a 45 degree triangle. So cosine of that 45 degree angle, that angle there, is equal to the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is that line right there. So now I'm going to solve for the hypotenuse. So I multiply both sides of the equation times the hypotenuse. And on the right-hand side, those two hypotenuses cancel out. So I'm left with a hypotenuse times 45 degrees is equal to the adjacent side. Again, solving for the hypotenuse, I want to isolate the hypotenuse, so I divide both sides of the equation by cosine of 45 degrees. Those cosines cancel out, and I'm left with hypotenuse is equal to the adjacent side divided by the cosine of 45 degrees. This is equal to 9. divided by the cosine of 45 degrees. And this is equal to 9 divided by... If you plug cosine of 45 degrees into a calculator, it should equal to 0 0.707. If you get something else, make sure your calculator is not set to radians. It should be set to degrees. 9 divided by 0 0.707 is equal to 12.7. And that is the length of the hypotenuse or the diagonal line of a square. In general terms, I can write this as the hypotenuse is equal to one of the sides divided by cosine of 45. I can write this as cosine of 45 is equal to 1 divided by the square root of 2. This is equal to 0 0.707, which I used before. I'm going to write this as one of the sides divided by 1 divided by square root of 2, and I can rewrite this as a side times the square root of 2. So the hypotenuse, or the blue line, is one of the sides times the square root of 2. It doesn't matter how big or how small that triangle is, the hypotenuse of the blue line is always going to be one of the sides times the square root of 2. I can even rotate the triangle and it's still one of the sides times the square root of 2. I can draw in the other two sides, and the diagonal of a square is always going to be one of the sides times the square root of 2. Remember to always share the knowledge, share the love, Facebook, Google+, and Twitter. You can like us below, the link to Facebook pages below, and make sure you subscribe.